<laughs> Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's been a hot second. The last time I vlogged, I was still in quarantine in Shanghai. As you may have noticed if you follow me on other social media channels, I have safely made it to Tianjin and have been living well. I have been filming clips with the intention of making it into vlog. So actually I woke up super early this morning and I am at school like before the building has even opened. But round down on my day. Today I have nothing. So this is my practice room today and what I have to do is I have to use my ID, scan it since I booked it on the system. And then voila, here's my room. I just never got around to putting it together. School was so overwhelmingly busy. Today I have nothing. And also I had some creepy comments and messages. But vlogging is something I really do enjoy and I really wanted to create these time capsules that I can look back on to enjoy and relive precious memories. So here I am. Yeah. So here's a rough recap of my past couple of months. Obviously I made it to Tianjin. I had my birthday. Let's go sing. <clears throat> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Lucky to have made such good friends here. <laughs> I had the opportunity to perform with some faculty and colleagues the Reich Quartet for two pianos and two percussionists And here is my studio mate How did you feel about our rehearsal today? Oh, so tired <laughs> Mm. Are and we ready? I feel guilty. Oh. Guilty? Why? Yeah. I cannot. <laughs> I just cannot play this piece. Oh my god. Oh, I'm getting crazy. Well, all in all, it was so much fun. And at the end of November, there was a concerto competition, which I was very fortunate to win. Fast forward to last week when I had just the most fun playing with the Tianjin Juilliard Orchestra with Maestra Jing Huan. So I thought in today's vlog, I would kind of walk you through the process of preparing for an orchestra performance and rehearsing with orchestra as a soloist. And these are strictly based on my own experiences playing with orchestra. Throughout the week, I was filming a lot, mostly for myself to get an idea of how I sounded like. I'll sh go through some clips that I made throughout the week. Um, I made notes to myself, but I didn't actually vlog any reflections. I had the opportunity to try the pianos. We have two really beautiful Hamburg Steinways in our concert hall. As some of you have may seen on my Instagram post, I was deciding between two very beautiful instruments. One, I actually really like the sound quality better personally because it has a rounder and more gentle treble with more depth, I think. Whereas the other piano, which I eventually decided on, um, is a lot more brilliant and flashy instrument. And it's also lighter and more direct. And ultimately I decided for the piece and for concerto playing uh, for Shostakovich that it was the more appropriate instrument. So that's what I decided on. A little more than a week before my concerto performance, I also had the opportunity to run through the piece with the orchestra before the conductor arrived the following week. And that was just a lot of fun to see everybody fumble through together. And really a big goal of mine was that I always tensed up by the end of the third movement and then couldn't play the Hannon in the end or it got really tense and I really wanted to conquer and make good friends with this piano by the end of this concerto journey and so I requested for more time in the hall to befriend the instrument and question what is wrong with my technique. The first run through with a conductor was a lot of fun because 
she's so amazing and has such an energetic presence and great passion in her conducting and seeing her work with the orchestra and kind of persisting and demanding really excellence from every single member of the orchestra was really inspiring to see. In total, three run-throughs, three run-throughs with the orchestra. I keep saying this, but I was so lucky to have very supportive faculty members and studio mate who came and listened to my run-throughs with the orchestra to check for me the balance, if anything, there were anything that couldn't be heard or if there were things that I needed to project more. It was so helpful to have extra ears on hand and I had a couple of faculty members that came to some of my run-throughs and gave me feedback musically even and that was so helpful. My general rule of thumb when collaborating with orchestras is that in the first couple of rehearsals, I really stay strictly to what I want to do, disregarding being together or even if things fall apart and staying strong to what I want to do. And then because this time around I really got so many rehearsals, I was able to hear what is not possible with that many people and what is unrealistic, what's not as effective in this hall or in this orchestra, adjust accordingly. But it's really not until the performance day where I make a very conscious effort to be absolutely together with the orchestra. After the concert, everybody was like, wow, that was the most together and we, that was the best we played. And I was just like, yes. Or in my personal opinion, I think that's how the process should be. And then on the concert day, I felt I prepared well and it was really exhilarating. <laughs> Did you walk? No. no. Not bad. Um, so official looking. I'm gonna warm up and then it will be show time. really lucky to play on such a beautiful instrument in such a beautiful place, a venue for an audience. I really am having so much fun in Tianjin. I have currently some secret projects in the work. If I have time, I hope I can also vlog some of those projects. And so if you enjoyed this vlog and are interested in seeing life of a music student in China or even to see some of my performances, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like these. See you next time! The slowest elevator in the school. Oh. Hello!
Oh. Do you like the flower we got you? Mm, you guys got this? Do you think that we pick yeah. it on the street? I don't know, I don't know who... <laughs> this is the flower we got for Linda's concert to say congratulations. Oh, thank oh. you! We picked this color to fit, to fit her color scheme for her dress. Oh, really? <laughs> Fitting, you know? Yeah, yeah, but I mean, I didn't think too much, you know. Well, but I did. Wow, Hanai. Hanai Yoshida. She's here! <laughs> <laughs> this is Yuki's birthday. Your, your wow, it's so not focusing. Pretty. Let me give. Oh! Wow. My picture is so pretty. Wow. Hmm. I'll think about it. You have no, to think about it. <laughs> if you don't use it, I'm gonna unfriend you. <laughs>